This is one of those locations where there is just an awful lot going on, and it's unmarked and ready for exploring. Now, in order to gain access to the rooftop to find out what the sadistic raiders were up to, uh, the catwalk is your only option. Unless you can access from any of the other rooftops, so that's a pretty difficult task. They seem to have set themselves up pretty well. Several entrances guarded by plenty of makeshift barricades and several raiders at the ground floor alongside a turret. They have some uh, victims hanging from a tree which uh, serves as a stark warning to anyone who may want to uh, pay them a visit. Now these raiders are a little different to the ones you normally see because there's two things that they're doing that's not the most common thing that I see in the wasteland. Normally they're pretty swift at dispatching enemies, but these raiders, they like to take their time. Also, their cuisine is a little off. Now, on the first level you can find a cam box and somewhere to sleep. A sleeping bag or a mattress, whichever is your choosing. Of course, you'll have to rid yourself of the local residents before you go up to that. Going over, you can find essentially their wee headquarters where they've set up where you can get a steamer trunk and a sniper rifle alongside uh, whiskey and wine because, well, what you're going to find out they get up to on the roof is uh, certainly going to uh, yeah, have an effect. Now, there's a ramp across to here and you can see someone barely made it. And I mean, they barely made it. And on the ground, there's a few settlers and traders. So it seems that when they captured them, they would torture them and tell them to uh, to jump. Now, one did, well, one kind of made it, and uh, for the next video we'll be discussing a traitor that did make it, and I don't really know what he succumbed to, it doesn't seem quite clear. So, let's have a look. There is a grey baseball bat, I don't see too many of them, like, ever, so I don't know if they're incredibly rare. I should have a look in the wiki before doing the video, but... Yeah, let me know if you see many of those. Jumping on down, there is this little sort of secret area that I completely missed. This guy normally joins the fight anyway, uh, so you can pretty much dispatch of him. And if you need the workbench, it is there. One last thing about these raiders, the bit that I didn't really get was up here. You can find an alpha feral mongrel that they're clearly chopping up. Now, that gives me one of two things. One, he fell in battle, because normally mongrels are part of the raiders. Perhaps he fell in battle, and look, resources are pretty scarce. Maybe food is also quite scarce at this point, and therefore the dog is just being used for, you know, the obvious purpose that you could use it for. Food. Um, or, the other thing is, perhaps food is just that scarce, because they're being closed in in this area by super mutants, Gunners, scavengers, ghouls, like, it's not looking good. And perhaps all the warnings are not really keeping their enemies at bay. And the rooftops are only serving a decent purpose for for a while at the moment. Now, if you all know exactly where we are for this little raider base, it is located just south of Hubris Comics and east of Trinity Tower. Now, up next, and be sure to check out the video, we'll be having a look at the other rooftops and the victims of the sadistic... Uh, games that these raiders were playing so i'll catch us all over there have a fantastic day and uh see you then thank you for watching